Hi everybody! Welcome back to Just Add Ginger. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am back with something that I haven't actually filmed in a long time. My boyfriend and I went into town the other day and I may have done a little bit of cheeky pre-payday shopping. Oops, what can you do? So with that in mind I thought I would share my purchases with you. Let's get started. The first place that we, well, first place that I went to, I went in this shop and boyfriend waited outside for me, super drug, and I actually went into the shop with an idea of mind of what I was looking for, and I, I only picked up a few bits from here, I mainly went in to look at the Essie nail varnish stand, I've never bought anything from Essie before, and I'm always on the lookout for things, products, nail varnish related that are one handed friendly because if you don't know I paint my nails with one hand. The first thing that I picked up was Essie's Angora Cardi. It's a beautiful kind of mauvey colour I guess. I don't really know how you describe it. I've never seen a nail varnish like it and it's really difficult to find nail varnishes that I can paint my nails with because there's a whole kind of process that I do to paint my nails. I painted my nails last night with this, only one coat because, you know, I just wanted to give it a quick test and so far I have not been disappointed. It starts to chip a little bit but I have only done one coat. I did pick up a second one while I was there. You know, I kind of felt obliged to really. And this one is Tuxedo. And it is an absolute, uh, the camera's not going to pick it up because the lighting is a bit funny again today. Um, it's a beautiful, very, very dark purple colour, almost black. And it, uh, I'm really into having kind of darkish nails from having a night out. So that went into my basket as well. They were $7.99 each. I also picked up the, if I can get it out of the bag, the... Cosmopolitan, the Cosmopolitan, the uh, Cosmopolitan Blend Perfection Sponge. This was actually a recommendation from Z of Glitzy Glam. If you don't know who she is, I will link her blog in the info bar below. She's absolutely lovely, so definitely go over and check her out and say that I sent you. Maybe, I don't know, just go and say hi if you don't want to say that. But, um, I've never had a beauty blender before and because this was a recommendation I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go because I've only just really gotten into using brushes more and you know I'm always on the lookout for a good little extra thing to add to my collection so into the basket it went again and I think that was it was it was 4 99 so a bargain is fine and a good recommendation from a blogger friend. So the last thing that I picked up from Superdrug was a product that I've heard so much about on kind of Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, kind of social media in general uh, lately. It is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara and I got it in, I think this is just called Black Noir. I've heard good things and bad things about this and I haven't had a new mascara in a while. I'm usually quite dedicated to my Maybelline Falsies Flared mascara so I thought I'd try a different brand and give this a go. Actually, it's not, it wasn't that expensive actually, I thought it was more. I know why, it had, I think they had a special offer. It was a mascara and eyeliner for £10 but the mascara itself was £8.99 so I haven't opened it yet but I like the packaging and you know I, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover but I am in this case and I'm hoping it doesn't fail me. You can't just commit yourself to one, there are too many fishes out there for you to fish. So that was everything I picked up from Superdrug. The next place that we went to was actually Spods Direct. I have been trying to increase the amount of exercise I do on a weekly basis just to boost my energy levels and you know just to generally get fitter and healthier but the pair of trainers that I did have I've had for about eight 
years and um, they're not very good anymore. They don't really support my foot, which is important, especially for my left foot, that I get that extra support because I don't have an arch. So I was thinking about getting some trainers for a while and last week I smashed my foot really hard down on the floor and we've got um, laminate flooring downstairs and I really thought that I'd like badly bruised my foot. Boyfriend had to run and get some frozen veg and put it on my foot and you know it, just, it wasn't pretty so that was kind of the reason why the other day we popped into Sports Direct to look for a definite pair of trainers that were actually not gonna mean that I could damage myself and boyfriend very kindly treated me to these and I think they are just I want to say that I picked them up because they look like they support my foot and while that's true they are just <laughs> really pretty uh, these are trainers from Reebok I think well it says on the side they're called the sub Sublight Duo. I don't really know much about trainers, but they're a much better shape than my other ones. They have got lime green accents and bright neon laces, which was part of the reason why I wanted to buy them. And the other reason was the grip on the bottom is just so much better. My other trainers had absolutely no grip whatsoever, and I was sliding around the living room doing Zumba looking a bit like a fool. I'm looking forward to trying those out. I think, no I know, they were 47 99 which is not that bad for a pair of trainers. Boyfriend bought me those as a treat, so thank you very much. Oh, and the light just went off. So, after we went into Sports Direct, I made a sneaky little trip into New Look, straight up the escalator to the shoe section, because I love new look shoes and um, I'm gonna get a little bit emotional here because my old faithful shoe boots that I have had for years and years and years it's time for them to go to shoe heaven because they have no grip they are falling to pieces and it was just time for me to let them go But these things happen and I had to go into New Look to see if I could find a new pair of shoes that are going to be my old faithfuls. Hello people. Walking by window. Up to the shoe section I went and I found these beauties. Oh, I love them. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh. We were trying to figure out how tall they are. Wearing these yesterday, I was just about the same height as boyfriend, who yesterday, because he had kind of chunkier shoes on, like walking boots, was about six foot, and I'm five foot six, so they're about four inches high, but they've got a really big platform, which means that I'm not gonna go falling arse over tit and make a fool of myself. They've got an ankle strap, which is great for me because it means my left foot will be supported. And I just really, really liked the um, lace detail on the front and the back of the shoe. And I just, well, I'm going to have to practice walking in them to get my, you know, my feet used to wearing them and figure out where the potential places of foot rubbing will be against the shoe. But I'm really looking forward to giving these a spin on a night out. And they were £27.99, so not too bad. But if you're still a student, which unfortunately I'm not, and you have an NUS card, I think you get discount in New Look still. I may be wrong, but maybe you do. But if you're looking for a pair of ye old faithful in the making shoes, I definitely give Lee the. I would definitely give these a look because, you know, in my experience, new look shoes last for ages, and that's kind of the only place I really go to to get my heels from nowadays. Spotted those ones, 
and I got very excited and then I went a little bit mad looking around the rest of the shoe section and then I spotted these. <gasps> ah! I've seen so many people rocking a pair of shoes like this on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere and I saw these and I thought you know what you just gotta have to give these a go. They would just look so cute with a pair of tights and a skater skirt, a pair of tights with those little um, cute ankle socks over the top and you know because they've got the cutout bits with the buckles they'll be good for when it starts to get a bit hotter because it means your feet won't be sweltering. I had just had to get them. Yeah they came home with me. These were £29.99 so I've already got so many ideas of how I want to style these running through my head that I just can't wait to wear them. So I may actually wear them out today and give them a little bit of a an outing. So those were the two pair of shoes that I bought from New Look. I consider myself to be very restrained if I only bought two pairs of shoes from New Look. And then the last place where I bought things from Primark. You can't go into Liverpool and not go into Primark. I always have to go in and see what new stock they've got in and while I was in there I picked up a few things because I felt I, needed, I felt obliged to because I was in the shop and they were calling out to me and they had to come home with me so they did and that was that so I'm going to show you what I bought and stop talking like this. The first thing that I knew I had to get was a set of these non-slip hangers since boyfriend and I moved in together, we're having a little bit of wardrobe issues in the fact that I have a lot of clothes and I need hangers because I buy clothes and whereas I take it from the spare wardrobe, which is used to be that one that's behind me, um, which never really had anything in it except for loads of hangers, now I can't because boyfriend is, has his clothes hanging up on there. So I picked up some of these hangers just to keep in my wardrobe because I've got loads of things lying around the house that I can't actually hang up. They're just chilling on the dining room table waiting for a hanger. So I've got 10 for four pounds which I think is really bargainous because they come in so handy and it means your clothes don't fall off and just sit in the bottom of the wardrobe which is always so annoying because my bottom, oh dear, my bottom, not my bottom, <laughs> the bottom of my wardrobe has all, well not all because I don't know if it in, some of my shoes in so if things fall down I have to kind of pick my way around the shoes to see if I can spot the clothes so that was a necessity from Primark because I always get the hangers from there because I think they're the best value for money so that was that. Then I went to the hosiery section and I saw these and Sarah, if you're watching, get yourself to Primark. These are fashion Disney tights. They're kind of the mock over knee sock tights, but instead of having any like cat heads or you know actual like fake suspender bits on the top bit, they've got Mickey Mouse head. But I'm a big fan of over knee socks and kind of suspendery looking things because I think if you're wearing a dress that is cut above the knee it kind of adds a little bit of an extra dimension to your outfit so they had to come home with me and they were a little bit on the pricey side for tights in Primark for just one set they were four pounds but I think they're worth it to be honest I just thought I'd go for it because even if they only last a couple of wears there will be a couple of wears where it was worth wearing those tights so that was the, other, the second thing that I bought from Primark and then I because I bought the shoes I had to buy the socks with the little frilly bit around the top didn't I? yeah and I've got of course I did you can't buy shoes and not buy matching socks so I picked them up because it's still kind of wintery-ish weather. I bought them in a maroon colour and I thought if I wore, you know, dark tights I could just, or leggings, I could pop these 
over the top and they'd peek out from the top of the shoe and look really cute and these were only £1.50 so bargain is fine so I had to get them and there you have it folks so that was everything I got in Primark and I think that's everything I got in general when I went shopping so not a massive amount of stuff but things that I kind of needed-ish that was everything I bought from my trip into Liverpool with boyfriend on our shopping day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!